Hi friends, welcome to Susan Recipes. Today I'm going to prepare moong dal with green peas. So I have taken one cup of moong dal and one cup of green peas. These are fresh green peas. Here I have taken one big onion and I have chopped it finely. This is one big tomato, roughly chopped. Salt as per our taste. I'll be preparing this recipe in mustard oil. So I'll be using uh, two tablespoons of mustard oil, two dried red chilies. This is half a teaspoon of uh, chopped ginger and garlic, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. This is half a teaspoon. Uh, one sorry, one four teaspoon of hing. 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. So now let's get started. Here this moong dal I have washed it nicely. As you can see there is water in it. So I have washed it nicely. Now let's get started. Friends apart from all these ingredients I, forgot, I have forgot to mention. We are also going to use fresh coriander leaves. Little bit of fresh coriander leaves. You just wash it and chop it. And water for cooking this dal. So now, here I have heated 2 tablespoon of mustard oil. It gives a lovely flavor or else you can use any other oil that you want. And we will add the hing. We will add the jeera, that is the cumin seeds. Chopped ginger and garlic. And now we will add the chopped onion. Dried red chilies. Now we'll saute this for half a minute. After sorting it for half a minute, I will add the moong dal. You can add the orange dal with this also. But I prefer to add moong dal only. Fry the dal like this for a minute. After frying the dal for a minute, I will add the tomatoes. The green peas. And now fry all this together for another minute. After frying it for 2 minutes over high flame, I will add the turmeric powder. Sorry. Salt as per our taste. And now I will mix it. After mixing the salt and turmeric powder, I will add 2 cups of water. We'll mix it. Mix it nicely. Add the chopped coriander leaves. Now we'll cover 
and cook this dal for four whistles. And now it will give the last whistle that is the fourth whistle. After the after this whistle, we put off the flame. After putting off the flame, we will let the cooker rest for some time. Now, friends, after the cooker is put to rest, I have opened the lid and I have put it again on the flame. As you can see, dal is cooked. Now I will take a wooden masher and I will mash it, mash the dal properly. Now friends after mashing the dal you can add half a teaspoon of ghee this is optional but it will enhance the taste of the dal. Mix the dal nicely. And now our green peas and moong dal is ready. Let's transfer it to the serving bowl. So here is our mutter and moong dal ready. I have garnished it with some fresh coriander leaves and this is the ghee that you can see. This tastes very yummy friends with rotis or plain boiled rice. I hope you liked my recipe. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to stay updated with my latest recipe videos. See you soon friends. Bye.